The dam at Hetch Hetchy, known as the O'Shaughnessy Dam, was arguably the most controversial engineering project in American history. Environmentalists like John Muir considered it a lovely valley, a canyon comparable to nearby Yosemite, and actually a part already of Yosemite National Park, presumably protected for all the ages. But to San Francisco, it was an ideal place to build a dam for water for San Francisco. And as we'll see in these slides, San Francisco won and the dam was built. I'm Bill Youngs, and I teach a course at Eastern Washington University called The History of the American National Parks. On a lovely October afternoon in 2012, I went to Hetch Hetchy to take a look. On the walkway that led across the top of the dam, there were a number of signs that told the story of Hetch Hetchy Canyon and of the O'Shaughnessy Dam. This one tells the story of the great earthquake of 1906 that destroyed San Francisco. I wondered whether they would say anything about the opposition to the dam. You can see here a brief reference to John Muir. John Muir, the sign says, who wanted the valley to remain untouched for wilderness preservation, had led the opposition. The hero of this story, as presented now at Hetch Hetchy, is of course not John Muir, but Maurice O'Shaughnessy, the engineer who led the construction of the dam. And this is the reservoir that he and San Francisco built. I decided to take a hike along the top of the dam and through the little tunnel that you can just barely see at the far end of the dam and then along the path that goes over the uh, north side. Here was another sign along the top of the dam uh, talking about the fact that the dam is very valuable for clean energy, clean renewable energy. Looking off the top of the dam to the downriver side, you could see this incredible outflow of water from the reservoir into the Tuolumne River. At the beginning of the trail along the north side of the reservoir, there was this interesting sign, Wilderness Regulations, the natural integrity of Yosemite's high country depends on you. If John Muir were still alive, I'm sure he would have scribbled in beside that and build no dams. I'll let the next few pictures tell the Hetch Hetchy story in their own way. This is what the area looked like on an October afternoon in 2012. Back from my hike, I took a few more pictures of the dam itself.
Leaving the dam, I rode my motorcycle up out of the valley, pausing once to look back and take this picture of the dam and the reservoir amidst all of that rock of wilderness. I came to the ranger station and paused to talk about Hetch Hetchy Dam and about my course on the national parks. I thought it was interesting that the poster board there with the weather alerts uh, showed the canyon without the dam. I had a good conversation with the ranger and he invited me to read some books that they had at the uh, ranger station there or the entryway uh, on Hetch Hetchy. And so I sat at a picnic table near the ranger station and did a little bit of quick research. I might have stayed longer, but my motorcycle nearby was growing impatient, worried about whether we could get back to our campsite before dark. And so that ended my visit to Hetch Hetchy. <laughs>